What is up everyone, MC Duelist here today bringing you another Minecraft map. Now today, again, I am bringing you another Minecraft adventure map. And you want to know what it is? Well, let me tell you what it is. It is called Dream Eye Incorporated. And of course, if you want to play the map, it is down in the description below. But let's go ahead. And this was created by Spencer. So thank you very much, Spencer, for making this map. Because without you all makers of making the maps, I would not be spending the time playing and recording them. So thank you very much. Again, this is an adventure map. It requires version 1.12.1, so make sure you are using the latest adventure map, of course. Dream Eye is an adventure map that challenges your parkour and puzzle solving abilities. It is fan made spin off of the great game, The Stanley Parable. Now, I have no clue what that is, but if you do know, of course, comment down below. The map's ending can be different depending on what paths and decisions you make throughout the game. Okay, so that's very interesting. Different paths, different decisions you make can change the game. I love it. It is a mysterious game that has challenging puzzles and parkour. I have dedicated so much time and thinking into the game over the past week to make sure that the game is playable and enjoyable. So first off, like I said, thank you so very much. This was created solely for single player. Well, of course. So let's go ahead and just hop right back into our game, because why not? Okay, so I know we all are ready. So if you all are ready, let's just go ahead and begin. Okay, here. Let's see. Press here to begin. Well, first, I gotta read some stuff. Set roll to spawn point. I've been enable adventure mode. Set your spawn point. Let's just hit all three just for in case. Hello, and welcome to Dream Eye Incorporated. This map is supposed to be a spin off of the great game Stanley Parable. If you have never played the game, I would highly recommend it. Play on peaceful difficulty. Rules Make sure you are on adventure mode. Do not break any blocks, including paintings, items, frames, etc. Try to avoid cheating. Follow any directions or rules on sign. Disclaimer. Some puzzles in this map are quite difficult, so make sure your thinking cap is on. Frightened suggested settings 50 to um 70 so 50 to 100 percent Let's make sure our brightness, I believe it is on all the way. I want to, I want to be on all the way. I love it. Clouds off, render distance doesn't matter. Keeping it lower just in case your PC has a hard time running. Also, there isn't too much to view distance wise. Design only for single player. Well, now that I read all that, this is unlocked after being the game. I wonder what's in the mysterious, mysterious room. Let's go ahead and begin. Check chest first behind you. Back to main lobby. What? Here's one. And then this end is never the end. T. Personal ID. Wait. So this is personal ID. My name is Maria. Steps, female height, five foot four, hair color brown, eye color brown, volunteer, number 428. Okay. This is never the end. This is never the end. Sorry, the end is never, the end is never, the end is never, the end is never. So many times, repeatedly, but apparently it does end because it does, it just does. Do you believe in parallel universes? Yes, just I do, but I feel like you should. Yeah. See, in every book, they always say that the last page always says something. Just saying. Okay, press this button to begin. Please, go this way. No matter what, I'm going to make sure there's always chest. Okay, important message from Dream Eye. Hello, and thank you for volunteering to let us monitor and tamper with your dreams during your REM sleep. Um, I'm not sure if I signed up for this. I, I know I did not. Here at Dream Eye Incorporated, believe it is so important to make sure people are healthy and happy while they sleep. We have already briefed you on why we feel this research is necessary. But we will go ahead and do some again for training purposes. Dream Eye Incorporated is determined to create a world where people can control their own dreams and provide themselves with a secondary world that the real world has been unable to provide them. Pre precautious. Important. Make sure you do not try to wake up yourself up. Since you are in a lucid, lucid dream, say you may do so at any time. However, since we are currently operating on your brain, many complications may come into play if you do come out of sleep. Keep in mind that the only way you'll wake up is if you mainly do so. 2. Try to avoid th doing things in which are physical while you are asleep because you may cause involuntary muscle spasms in the real world and this could quite damage to you and your others. Why did I sign up for this? Who, who did this to me, huh? Who did? Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, make sure you are following any and all directions you find throughout the dream. If you do not do so, you may become insane and you may end up as such a for the rest of your life. Uh, can I drop out of this? I never signed up for this. Never did. Nope. I know I did not. 
as long as you follow these three steps, you should be absolutely and totally fine, and we should be able to get this finished shortly. Ho happy dreaming, Dream Mind Incorporated. Well, thank you very much. That's that's really nice. I'm kind of scared now. I'm not gonna lie. Let's just go ahead. Uh, well, I said let's go ahead, and there we go. There we go. Okay. Mysterious button on the floor. Lead me to my way. It's a colorful rainbow pathway. Is this, is this gonna close on me? Okay. I thought like the whole place was gonna close on me. Now this is a good way to put me to sleep. If this was endless, I know I would fall asleep. Again, mysterious button. Okay. Guidebook number one. Okay. As you know, this is a lucid dream, meaning you can control your dream completely freely. Now since this is a test, we are going to be creating a setting for you. Don't worry, you will be able to walk around on your own and make conscious decisions, but make sure you are, you remember rule number three. It is very important that you follow our directions as much as humanly possible. Okay, now, what should we be setting? Hmm. We could put you into the ancient Mayan castle where you are to figure out puzzles of the lost work. Hmm. No, no, no. That simply would not be a good idea. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, go ahead and press that button, and we will begin. James. Okay, James, I trust you, sir. So far, I have like five books. Wow. I trust you, James, okay? Wherever you are, magically floating angel James, I trust you, okay? You. It's so dark in here. Maybe I can find a light switch. I don't like dark places. Guidebook number two. Ah, the office. Such a peaceful and tranquil place to be. Don't you just love the sounds of phones ringing and keys clicking? Go ahead and explore the office. I don't like to hear the sounds, but I'm looking for a light switch. Light switch. Aha! That that didn't do anything. Wait, what? What's the button for then? Aha! Th th wait, there we go. There, there's a light switch. Okay. I said, don't destroy anything because I'm always have to. Whenever I see paintings, I'm always have to destroy them. And I just r realized I still have my other resource pack on. Let's go ahead and take that off, sorry. Yeah. Okay, this is a nice and lovely place. It said don't destroy anything, but can I take the armor? I just wanted some armor on, okay? I look so cool and expensive suit pants. Oh yeah, this is expensive stuff. This is how you know of, don't mess with me, I'm so expensive. If you break me, I cost a million dollars to replace. Totally, don't ever mess with me, you all, okay? Okay, so explore the office. Why is it so dark in here? Oh. Um, there's another button. I see buttons, I was to push them. What What did it do? Did it do anything at all? Um, it's so dark and kind of creepy looking here. I'm really afraid. Why? So many guidebooks. Okay. It appears that there are no other people in this office so far. It is possible it is how you would like it, or maybe something has simply gone wrong. Either way, duly noted. Um, I hope something did not go wrong. I feel like there's gonna be some kind of, some kind of jump scares in here. I'm not gonna lie. It's dark for a reason, right? Buttons I'm pushing for who knows what reason, but like nothing is happening with the buttons, the levers, both the levers are down, there's buttons over here, buttons over there, hmm, these don't seem to be doing anything, yeah, see, I, I realized that, but it's like, what, did, did someone not pay the, the electricity bill, is that why none of the lights are working, sir, some uh, the employees who are working here, it must be a terrible job, yeah, I totally don't trust this. This should be more of a horror map at this point, because this I simply don't trust at all. Okay, um, there's another chest. Guidebook number four. I feel like there's like 50 million of these. Isn't it interesting that you must turn on, a, on all the light switches in every room? You know what? Let's give you a little more assignment. The light switches are going to get more and more progressively harder to find. Where's the fun in bringing them and being in plain sight? Wait, so in order to turn on the lights in the building, you're telling me I have to hit every single light switch? Are you serious? They all happen at the same time? What kind of person are what? what is wrong with you? This is why I play in full on brightness, not clear. You're telling me that the to turn them all on, I have to hit every single light switch. What who designed this building? There's obviously something wrong with them at that point. Hmm. Yeah, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be one in here. I just know it. I just know it. There's gonna be one right, right there, right. No, nope. you know I'm really not trusting anything right now. I'm not trusting anything at all. Just gotta look and find out what there is. Aha! I see a secret door behind the wall. Okay, there's obviously another light switch right 
Then there, that didn't do anything. You know, did I not hit every single light switch? I, I'm not trusting anything right now. I truly not trust anything. There's too many light switches apparently. Of course, which I'm not surprised about. Wait, did you, wait a minute. What, what is that? Is that a hopper or is that an item? I just simply can't get to. I don't really know. Don't trust it though. I don't trust it at all. Is that not every single light switch? See, see that time there's nothing else there, but the other time there was like a hidden thing. Did anyone else not see that? Look, if you come back right in here. Seriously, what? Is that a hopper? I don't know. I don't trust it though at all. There's okay. Um mysterious ghost. Ooh, wait. I knew it. I knew it. There we go. There's the light switches. That's what I like to see. Or all the light switches. What what is this? Guide book number five. Hmm. It seems that you cannot go upstairs. I guess you will just have to suffer down. I cannot go upstairs, hey? Okay. I thought I was gonna come like I said, puzzles and stuff, right? I thought I was gonna have to do some parkour or something, but I guess I was totally, totally wrong. Oh great, it's dark again. Where are they? oh yeah. Going down a creep in dark hallway hallway is never scary. Yep, totally not. Guidebook number six. Okay, so here's the deal. We are now going to be seeing how many seeing how you deal with the puzzles and speed. Try to get through the course. Oh, and don't worry about rule number two here. We have everything under control, so feel free to be as Arabic as you like. Um, yeah, okay. Remember, I'm wearing one of your expensive suits, so if I die, if I get blessings on it, that's totally on you, totally not on me. Again, hit all the um, light switches. I'm opening up the fridge. The fridge is empty. I'm a little bit mad. The fridge is surely empty. Parkour is going to be around here. I just know there is. It's going to be right... Nope, we're not right there. Totally there. Right there. Yep. The button. That does absolutely nothing. There's an enchantment table. That's pretty cool. Can I get like a sword or something just to protect myself? There's gonna be something in the cobweb. No? There's nothing in the cobweb? I'm surprised. It's a piston. Wait a minute. What was that about? Anyone else see that? The light. I swear. Blink. Flickered or something happened. Is there a pressure plate around here that I missed? Where was the pressure plate at? What? What just happened? I noticed there's parkour up there, but there's no other light switches. Unless the parkour takes me to the light switch. What it? See, here's the parkour. Yep, there we go. I hope you're all ready for this. This I was definitely not born for this. Like I said, definitely not. Ready for this? Three, two, one. Wait, do I jump right there? Oh, I simply jump right there. I was debating on whether or not I jump up there. But then again, I feel like I'm supposed to. Because that would make more sense now, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, come on, just. There we go. Just get me up right there. Just let me get right. Is this even possible? No, I, I don't know what I was supposed to jump to. I, I don't know. Yeah, totally don't know. Superman jump, right? Yeah, totally Superman jump. Okay. To oh no. You, my sir. Is that, wait, that's not impossible. Is it? No. I know you're not gonna tell me that's a possible jump. There's something that's not right about this picture. What am I supposed to do from here now? Is that parkour? Or is it just how the place looks? Cause I'm, no, that is possible. That's a, what? Is that, is that even a, yeah, it is possible. Oh my gosh, you are surely, wow. This really does suck. If you miss one jump, you mess up the whole thing. Holy cow. I understand like I said this parkour, but for the first parkour, I was hoping this was gonna be a little bit easier, you know? None of these quad jumps kind of stuff. Three jumps I can deal with, um, quads, no, thank you. Nope, I, I was going to try to, um, momentum kind of jump it, but that didn't really work for me, as you can tell. Come on, there we go. 
No, nope, no. Nope. Definitely not working for me right now. Definitely not. See, this is what happens when you get me involved in parkour. I like the um, Biden kind of styles when it comes to, like I said, me and parkour. Just don't ever get along. I need a master to, um, to pr train with. I need a master to teach me his ways of parkour. Because otherwise, it's just like through my pass over my head. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, everyone. I finally, finally, finally made this through the parkour. Maybe after about 30 more minutes, I just had to edit some stuff because, you know, that was just complete insanity because to me and parkour do not go together well at all. But let's just get on. Hopefully I can get through this. Let's see. What? Why are spider webs in here? Why? What's this? Guidebook 7. Considering the difficulty, you got through it quite quickly. Well done. First off, that was not quickly. Se second off, that kind of scares me. That was so not quickly. Why are we in a hallway? What's the door? The door leads to the room, which I can never go to. Yeah, okay. There's at least lights in here or something. Wait, they're both guidebook 7? What? Oh my goodness, where have you ended up now? Looks to be a janitor's closet. Hmm, this is quite peculiar. Uh, maybe if you just sit here patiently, then something will happen. Maybe it's all I've got. No, that really does make me afraid, you know? I don't want to sit. So you're patient. There we go. Six, seven, six. What? The truth will be re revealed. Yeah. Okay. The I I'm not gonna say you're patiently. No. What's gonna happen? There's obviously a secret, su secret buy and secret switch. Obviously, I've hit somewhere, but I don't know where it should be. There's no way in the world I'm just gonna sit here peacefully and quietly. There's nothing in the furnaces. There's nothing in this room. No. Nuh-uh. Did not just turn on every single light switch. No way. What? Oh my goodness, this is quite extraordinary. It appears you are in the exact same place you were in when you started. I'm not honestly quite sure. Don't get me wrong, I look familiar, but all the lights are on somehow. And the full armor stand is here, so I'm a little bit creeped out. Um, yeah, this is definitely the place. Well, no. See, all the light switches are up, and they're not down. Nuh-uh. This is like a replica. I don't believe this. This is definitely a replica. And there was another room over there. Wasn't there? What if I just tell the buttons? Am I going to break anything? See, that, that light switch is still down. Either I miss some... No, there's no way I miss all these light switches. There's no way. These were all down before. What? Guidebook 9, guidebook 8. This room wasn't open last time. Very curious. Very scared again to start. The button didn't do anything. Light switch down. Um, what's in here? What is this for? Kind of like a closet or something? I don't know. Library. Books and stuff. Um, that's nothing in there. Just checking everything out. Of course, very curious about this. Truly, truly am. What is supposed to be in here? The guidebook 9 was... Wait, there's even no way out now. Oh, great. There's no way out of here. What's behind the painting, huh? Or do I just flicker back, that back up? No, flicker that back down. Gotta get all that stuff, right? Yeah? No? I don't see anything here. There's absolutely... Nothing else here, huh? I don't believe it. Just come some, some kind of secret passage is gonna make me go on too. I just know it. What 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 do I do? I don't see anything. Do do you all see anything? Because I know I don't. What? I'm confused. Yep, definitely confused. Just totally, totally confused. Just Hit that right, the right time, maybe I can jump up there? Am I supposed to make the kind of jump from here to there? Maybe? Maybe not? I, I don't entirely know for sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like it just felt like that was a parkour I'm supposed to be doing, I don't know. Definitely wrong there, but what's the button for? I, I don't understand. 
I'm stuck in here with all these books. There's nothing in the books though. There's nothing. You see, there's nothing in here though. I, um, there's no other book. There's no buttons in here or anything. Does anyone see anything? Where's the kind of hidden stuff I'm looking for? There's nothing in there. What? Um, very confused right now, that's all I can say. I don't trust anything in here. Aha! There we go. There's a button down there? A pressure plate? How do I get down there? What? Um, I see. Um, can't exactly walk down there. How how do I get down there? Is the question. How how do I get down there? What? I'm confused, not creator. Truly confused. I see it. But then what? I'm so confused right now. Does the light switch do anything? No. There's no way out of here. It said guidebook 9 was the only thing that was in here. Which said this room wasn't open last time. Curious. Um. Yeah, okay. Nine, look at that, there's another book. There was another book. Break, control. Huh? That was a chest there, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that was a chest just now that was there. But I'm so confused. I'll, instead of not to break this kind of stuff, I wanna just touch it, I don't wanna break it now. But what, how do I get down there? I see the hole, but I don't see how in the world I'm supposed to remotely get there. There's no other secret passage or anything, right? Is there? Yeah, I say, this is like the most confused adventure map for me that I've ever been on. Because I see the way down, but the buttons or anything don't work for it. Seriously. What do I do? I am so very, very confused of what to do. Is there a button up there? Hmm? Why should be a button? Again. There's a thing up there. What? I'm so confused here. So confused. There's a light switch, right? That turns on the lights. That so doesn't do anything down there, though. Does that open the... That doesn't even open the door up. What? Um. Again, confused. Glad I turned on the lights, but still no way out. There's nothing else here. Nothing in the bookshelves. Just don't understand what there is to do. I understand there's like a pressure plate or something right here. But can someone place something to get there? All it does is this, this, this one pressure plate, look. All it does like, that's, that's up, it just smashed it to the side. What? I'm confused. It's like different times, different days. I don't understand what there is to do. Seriously.
You cannot tell me that's not a touch plate. Seriously. What in the world? Do I throw the book down? No. Just, you can't throw it down there though. Can I? No, you can't, you can't throw anything down there. It's not a big enough hole. So confused of what to do. What do I do? Map creator? What in the world do I do? I'm so deeply confused. Truly, truly am. First it was pretty easy, but then it got pretty, pretty difficult. Like it would. Just not trusting anything at all. The lights keep going on, the lights keep going off. See, when those lights are off, that's when I can... That's a lever. My question is, how do I get access to a lever? Why can't my short little arms reach the lever? That's my question. Seriously. I actually hit it though. Okay, maybe now I go back and hit it, right? What is going on in this room? I don't understand. I don't understand what there is to do in this room. I'm sorely confused. How, I'm not even going to question how this opened up. I don't even know what just happened. No clue at all. Go this way. Adventure ahead. Go this way. But then this says, don't go this way. Dead end. Dead end. Turn back. Experimental monitor subject 428. Do not pull. You know, this is not, this is very, very tempting to do stuff like this, you know? is very very tempting. I'm not sure which way to trust. Why does I just click the button and says adventure ahead? So do I don't know which way to go. It says there's two different ways. Do not pull. I'm this is where it changes the story up right here y'all. This is the part where it's gonna change the story. Yeah. The door is still open behind you. You still have every option to turn around. You won't light the path ahead. I'm warning you. You know, this is where it changes the story. This is where I'm going then. Dream eye, subject list. Let's read number 11 first. Okay, fine. So maybe this isn't just sleep research we are doing here. Maybe we are testing a new elaborate brainwashing plan. But come on. Do you really think there is any escape from this? Do you really think we would let somebody, let some no, nobody ruin our, our entire operation we have going on? Obviously not. Volunteer number 400, Terminator, ter uh, everyone was terminated. 4 to 5, 4 to 11. Every single person was terminated, oh my gosh. Except for me, at volunteer number 4 to 8. That's not at all cool. I hope you know, map creator, I'm gonna run out of um, books soon, just saying. Don't have a lot of inventory, but yeah. Can't you see that you've never had a choice? Your fate was sealed when you found volunteer 427 line dead. You were destined for this, Maria. So apparently I'm Maria. I'm a girl. Certain death, certain death, certain death. Different areas apparently lead you different ways. So yeah. This is really interesting. Okay, is there anything hidden there? Just gotta check out number 13. Sigh, if only you would have just followed the rules, none of this would have happened. Um, that's not exactly true. I want to write in the book. I don't want to write in the book, but I don't think that's quite true. 
Okay, guidebook 14. How many guidebooks are there? I really do admire your courage, Maria. Oh, what the heck, since we are having so much fun, I'll give you a couple options. One of these doors will lead you straight to your certain and ultimately death. This should be no surprise ever. Here is where things get interesting. The other will lead you down a path where you have at least a silver of hope of getting out here alive. Oh, and I love a good game of luck. Choose wisely, Maria. Your life depends on it. Wow. So I can either go to the right or I can go to the left. I don't know which way I should go. I'm going to actually leave that up to you all. This is where I'm going to end this um, Dream Eye Incorporated episode 1. I will of course play part 2 another day, don't you all worry. But comment down below whether you think I should go to my right, to my right hand side. This is the right hand side, okay? This is the right hand side, it's this one. It appears you've chosen the right door. Very good choice to make this a bit more interesting. I'm going to present you with many difficult prizes. Good luck. Well, everyone, this is actually where I'm going to end it for now. Because I just, this is where I'm going to end for episode one. I really hope you all did enjoy. Of course, if you did enjoy, go ahead and smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. And I will see you all in the next video. See y'all.